Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new video in which we're playing as Warlord in Austin, but vulnerable. As the situation in Austin continued to degrade, the last grips of the Reich ever became ever looser. Those who would be afraid to speak their displeasures grew bolder. Where before one would scarcely dare to criticize Germania or the Reich's commissariat leadership for fear of seeing this inside of a prison cell, or perhaps worse, those squad voices were finally raised. As order degenerated, dissidents brought chaos. The voices of reformers bolstered by the liberal students grew ever louder. Within days, the streets of Vilna, always a hotbed of liberalism and a thorn in the side of Assam, were packed with reformers and students. The protests had no specific list of demands, no manifesto. The only shared platform or common platform that those packing into the streets of Assam shared was an end to the corruption and oppression of daddyism. Protests soon turned to riots as the overstretched Vilna police forces, stranded without support, were forced to concede a block after block to the protests and riots. As dissidents roamed unimpeded throughout the city in supporting dependencies, one could scarcely claim that the region was a possession of the Reich. Despite all appearances, however, there was there's no riffraff or anarchist looters and never duels. They were now without a benefactor. The movement, which had spiraled into riots and rebellion, had been in bankroll and supported by one Andreas Mayer Landrut. A business mogul knew him for his grand commercial and industrial successes throughout Austin. Following the collapse of the Reich control in Vilna, he wasted no time in affixing himself as a figurehead of this ragtag movement, with the support of ever so generously provided by Mayor Lenrut. And with the luck of a greater goal in the movement, most were kept or largely accepting of this new demagogue. Mayor Lenrut has since then declared the formation of the Vereinigte Ostlandliga, Ostlandliga, rallying reformists and liberals under his banner with the hopes of retaking Austin. <coughs> By force of arms. My apologies, I had a sneeze there. Two United Austin. Now let's see how strong these guys are. And a little bit of lag. And then we pop out ourselves. Wow. We start with 11 divisions. That's not bad. Now we're all infantry, which is not terrible. Uh, but we are surrounded completely on all sides. Which is not good. But we do have Minsk and Vilna. That's kind of strong, not going to lie. And hopefully we can just do this. And pop, 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 pop. There you go. Surround Vilna. But a shining light from heck. We stand alone, like a candle burning at the end of a cold, dark tunnel, with Maya, hoping to lead us out of the chaos and bloodshed of this horrific war. It's up to us to see what we can do to bring ourselves together as one, to help us see our greatest strengths in order to save our new homeland. We must not waste time nor efforts by neglecting reforms. We stand with those. Ooh. Um, for free, Austin. Issues of rights. Let's go with those uh, Those we stand with. We don't stand alone or help to bring in something new to the face of Austin. Neither of the land have come to our territory, bringing their hopes up of a better future for themselves forward. They have fought side by side with us, but only if we could promise the reforms we seek ourselves. So be it. We will do all we can to bring light to the darkness and the battles to come, no matter how this goes. No matter how this goes. The Black Five Tome, if you wonder about that, please go right ahead. Ah, oh, we can do that, why not? And it has begun with hope. Um, I guess you would be Field Marshal regardless, so. Plaga. A lot of different types of templates here. Um, you're better in defense, but you're better overall. Ooh. Not bad. Hmm, supply trucks. Upgrades go down and low, medium. Should decommission stuff. Um, Volksturm. Is it possible to just convince everybody convert? Oh, we cannot convert everybody. There we go. That's a little better. First and second bulk sturm. Not great, not bad. I can't convert those guys, unfortunately. So we have all these guys. And Fry Car 48. Before I even convert you. Uh, they, I mean, these guys are better, slightly better in defense, but I'd rather have everyone like that. There you go. It's a little better. Train two, and we're good. Well, good-ish. Not everyone wants to kill each other, of course. The EPO joins the war. If you want to hear about that, please go ahead. Traitors. Traitors all. Alright, so we have actually three factories. That's not bad. Let's grab that, some support equipment, and some RD. We'll also grab a thing of anti-tank and some motorized, maybe some trains, and if possible, maybe some jet fighters and or maybe just jet cast. But we'll see. You probably won't get that far, but the light in the black. Maya often saw something that the rest did not see in the eyes of his fatherland, declared him inhuman, hostile, or inferior. Standing closely by the windows of his old office, observing the activity of the city which now served as the center of his own faction, he stared beyond the glass, seeing more than just what met the eye as people sought refuge here. He can address the faces of those he helped once, their gratitude, relief, and their hope of these people. Maya looked away, recalling what he had done for them before all that came to this, risking everything he had, especially his life, for the sake of others who needed his help. Now he stepped away, remembering how his supporters came out into the open forum. 
He hoped to bring reforms within, from within the former system. He did not want a war for his reforms to take place, but war has come, and now it's taken Austin and ripped it apart. All around him, the land burned and continued to burn with hatred and vengeance being released by monstrous partisans. Treacherous nationalists, but Germans set against one another, believing in different ways to live their lives. Forced to take greater responsibility so quickly, so abruptly, the opportunity was thrust into his arms to decide the fate of Austin through force. Maya, Maya trembled at what he realized what he had to do. He remembering what he had done for others. He knew what he had to do, but now he had to do more than what he had done before. So he chose to cease trembling. He stepped out of his office, leaving all the things he had in his previous life. All his assets, all his wealth, he would give all that up to see his new duties. He had to do more to bring these people out of their nightmare. I light in the darkness. Don't forget, oh, local telling is good, 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 good. Volkstum, yes, yes, yes. I remember complaining about this guy, um, Andres Maya Landrut, when I was playing as the SS group up here, because they had a lot of divisions. But, issue of land, native support, I knew Austin. Um, you stand with us, that's not bad. Hmm. One more attacking defense. Let's go this way. From the, those from Riga. Defectors are coming over to our side. They told us that they came from Riga, out of the crumbling administration. They had come with arms and experience. We're like contributing to our war effort. We should do our best to see what we can do about them. Just kind of... Literally just dig in. That's all I care about right now. I want to get our buffs and bonuses. And that these, everyone wants to just kill each other off. In all honesty, just let them kill each other off. No more collaboration. If you're worried about that, please go ahead. And we're just waiting for these guys to actually get here, too. Two days? Holy crap. Stop taking so long. Oh, a little bit of lag, and... Oh, wow, there's a lot of lag. Whoa! Face, heel, turn. I don't really believe in anything anymore when that applies to ideology, too, but no matter how locked they seem to be. I don't really need any of that in my lot, but I can tell you what I've done for something others believed in. During the Austin's War, I found myself defecting over the liberal faction. I was with my comrades, and they too saw something. It was useless to fight for those with the likes of Drescher and Stalker. Those dudes blinded themselves, making themselves think that there was something good in what they thought would or think they le would lead Austin forward. Everyone around me sort of knew it too. It was all a sham, and that was why it was so easy for me and my comrades to get out of there into the ranks of the students and the natives, the ones who believed in Meyer. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't give an F about what they believe in. I just want to make sure that I and my comrades got out of this a lot, and I did just that. I didn't give a crap too much about the natives and the students, sure. The former are sore about their homelands and their peoples, and sure, the students seem to believe in things way too good to be true. But at least they were decent people to fight side by side with. At least we stood together against those effing dudes. And of course, we made sure we wouldn't let forget about Kovner, that effing monster of a Jew. But that's the only point I'm making here. I did my part. I don't believe in it, but I knew it was something that wouldn't get me and my comrades six feet under the earth. At least that's something I bl believe in all that's worth all the trouble. The gold guard stands with us. Though they may have defected from their administration, bringing them down to their reliability, they have reassured us of their dedication to the cause we have to win. Bravely, they wish to stand by our side, their experience put to use, so our chances of victory may increase. So we're looking, we're looking all right. Do we have any uh, supply issues? No? Well, I guess we have some compliance issues, but you know what else is new? Get there if you can, y'all. Not bad. Converted any, the two extra divisions from the first focus. Other uh, were just Volkstrom divisions into normal divisions, so, yeah. Not bad. Oh. Oh, we're over here as well. Okay. Well, I actually have a normal general then and do this. Just, just hang out. Yeah, retreat. Keeps people uh, busy down there, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Also, before we did that, well, as much as I like that, that's okay. That's okay. So we can maybe go down to here. Maybe? Can we actually go to. Just go straight down south, maybe? They all attack us crazily and crazily and crazily. Just go over here. Just d double up if you can. I'm really hoping that these guys would just kill each other off as much as possible, so. But if not, we'll deal with them. We always deal with them. Nice. Ooh, do we actually have any base? Oh, but no planes. Okay. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure I told you to hold, son. Pretty sure I told you to hold. So that's very strong. More attack and defense. More equipment. Ooh. German weaponry. Uh, three useful connections. If the factors that came to us have managed to secure a great number of supplies and arms for our cause. It's a miracle. With these new tools to protect our people, to promote our cause, and to secure Austin from the strife of war, we'll have more hopes of victory. We must not forget to be grateful for these guests. Without them, we may not have gone for so long.
these guys are going to hold it for long enough, we might be able to get down here. But it looks like they're going to fail. God, this mod loves the lag so hard. Come on. What? No. No. You deleted an entire division of ours? That's ridiculous. Yeah, this guy's gonna die. Let's move up. Uh, if you can, take Cowan. They actually destroyed a division. Oh, I'm gonna burn every single one of these pieces of garbage down. Move, move, move your chubby, fat little legs. Come on. One tile hop over. That's all I want. This is exactly for revenge. Yeah, that's what you get, you piece of crap. Stupid AI. My god, is it... What's wrong with this? Let's see. Oh, guard some less. Well, at least we do a lot better now. Do weaponry, hopefully, at least. Are you kidding me? No. No. Hold. All right. So after that leap, man, it would be bad. Those from with, those from Vilna. I want a spirit of change. Out of the classroom in the library, the laboratories and the workshops, costumes may have come out in support of a cause. They see Meyer as their idol and a guide to a better future. They're a great addition to a cause, for there are many of them willing to give their lives for the rewards of change. But they are more devoted to the promises we they seek to bring. And they may be more zealous than, than we really are, hopefully. Uh, they will stand with us no matter how far we go. Yeah, no, you're not taking this tile. You're gonna die like the dogs you are. I wish I'm making any divisions. No, no, that sucks. Come on, keep moving. It's okay, we lost up there, but whatever. Nothing we can do about it. For free, awesome. Uh, let's do the elite men, because we do need other divisions. The same defects from Riga have come up with something useful. It appears to us that they formed an elite division of infantry. Eager to give their lives to the cause and with the necessary skills and leadership to bring our dreams forward into the future. Let us celebrate this through the good use of their arms, and let's hope they will come out of this war and enjoy the victory we hope to attain. Well, we'll see. Here first, and we'll attack Suzuki. And we'll mop up on goal this way and encircle all these guys. That's my, that's the goal for this, uh, probably this campaign. Mop up through this way. I'll have a solid front line this way and then push forward that way. Through the northwest. Must be filled with a crap ton of mud here. Deep snow. Oh, well, deep snow. I guess it is February. What do you expect? Come on. Oh, you get attacked immediately. Oh, that's nice. Attack him too. For a better world. It's amazing to see how much younger than us dream for something better. I never thought about it much better things. I was worried about myself. I never really studied too much as I finished what I'd learned to just get a job at a small workshop. I never really thought much about those children who spent their days in a fancy university. When the war began, uh, I thought these things would pack up, begging Herr Maya for a way out, away from the fighting. They couldn't go back to Germany. It was also a war. Even I couldn't return to my hometown, no matter how much I wanted to bring myself out of Boston, but I was wrong about these kids. I found myself staring at them in shock, mouth wide open as I was returning home from work. There had been a massive gathering at the university along my usual way. There were so many of them, these young people. They were all lining up to sign their names and get going to the fighting. I just stood there, looking at these people, bringing themselves to risk all they had for a better world. A world that I thought would probably never come. I guess I really knew, never knew how much potential they had. I'm glad they played a part to save our homes here in Awesome. They wanted a better world, and that was how they got the chance. Hmm, they have soldiers. For free, Awesome. The students are becoming more energetic about the cause, and the cohesion is proven. They've become a powerful force in a coalition, and they've done their best to make it strong. We're glad to have them with us, for the youth is their power, and so is their willingness to realize the future we wish to enjoy. We're not alone in this fight, and so as long as we're not alone, we will prevail. Good, let them kill each other. That's what I care about. Oscar Hubert. 
Den Haag. Hubert, Hubert. Yeah, let's move in. Because you guys, you can't go. Yeah, you just go here. Or just go here. Let them fail. That's all I say. Let them fail. Another division. Oh, good. Twelve combo with. Not good enough. But whatever, leave stand with us. The, the youth organizations have come to solidify their faith in Maya's promises. He could realize a better future he had hoped to bring to all of us. And to be the light of all people, they boasted that they would give up all they had to see it come true. Like the natives and defectors, they are eager to do their part to save the homeland we all share. That would be good. Now we're being stretched a little thin. We're still doing okay. We're doing okay-ish. We'll have enough guns for now. Local autonomy is getting better and better and better. Well, for Yossin. You stand with us. College recruits. We could use more divisions. Yeah. Oh, we have great news. Out of the desire to push for the victory of our cause, the youth have come together, forming two divisions out of the best of their numbers. Although they're not experienced as a counterpart from Riga, nor are they familiar with the Latin as their native friends, they're a welcome addition to our forces, doing their best to win this war for a common dream. We l No. Murder them all. No. They are only focusing on us. Which is ridiculous. Focus more on these guys, you pieces of garbage. Yeah. Fiscal crisis. Defending Riga. Stretch quite thrin, thrin, thin. Good. Cut him off. At least take that. Take the, take the stuff here. It's weird to change. Our young comrades are doing more for our cause, forcing themselves to push forward no matter how much they've lost. They've gone beyond our greatest expectations for them. Despite all the flaws they may have, they've done so much for our coalition that our progress is picking up thanks to their extraordinary deeds. Surely with youth as courageous as they are, our victory is certain. Alright, you're done here. We're pushing out of Minsk. Go. We got land to take, and bodies to stack. We got radar station too, which is very good, actually. Come on. Oh my god. The auto saving. Ooh. Good. Ah, two more Volkstum divisions. Not really, but yes. Who has more divisions? Uh, issues of land. Our native comrades have come to us with an issue over the land of us, and they seek to discuss with us. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we will be able to keep our friends and come to a reasonable solution. Now, the La Maya leading us, surely we can do something for them, and we hope that what decision we make for our friends will be a decision that we won't regret. Surely, what they ask of us will be attainable, no? Where the heck are the divisions going? Go one direction, because you left the entire front line open, you ding-dongs. Force it. Ah. Luckily, these guys are just militia. Militia are generally pretty easy to take out, but not always.
Cut him, cut him off. You should have been able to win here. You honestly should have been able to. And that's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Yeah, you want to try that? Keep trying it. Keep trying it. Come on. See what happens. Keep them killing each other. And the issues of rights. Yet again, our native comrades come to us with an issue. Now they seek rights. Rights to be human beings. Rights to enjoy the same things we enjoy. To be in the same room with us as without being asked to take out their hats to us. And to be free to live in their own homeland as they once had before the right to get over. This may cause great turmoil within our ranks, but what will Mayo do for us? What decision will he choose to take? Yeah, I, I don't like how they're just starting to get really overpowered here. What the heck? Oh my god, stop with this so much lag, Jesus Christ. Do you know, man? Some nations just don't need content. Or need to slow as or affect the game speed. Um, all I get is more attack, division, and speed. Hey, everyone hold. It's your lamb. A place for every man. We want our homes back. We want our lands back. We want to live as we have lived before. We want a place for ourselves, one of the native representatives told Meyer. Yeah, I spoke up another, and we want to seek what we've not been able to have before the war. We want rights to purchase land to sell, to keep it for our families, our own people. We want to be free to use the land as you Germans have been free to use it when you came here. Meyer nodded not an interested in his intentions. Even though, even as some of the delegates began to gently warn their companion, who was too harsh with his tone, towards Meyer, they had the coalition himself to not mind him. I understand all of you, I really do, and I'm willing to see these concerns meet so far. After the war, we'll be able to live peacefully. The delegates nodded and muttered the agreements, but in Meyer's mind, he knew that he would have to make all things smooth with his fellow countrymen. There'll be a lot to do to get the natives the rights for the lands they wished for so long. Finally, it got to a decision, faced the natives, told him that you'll get what you want in due time. Welcome provisions, you have them, my friends. That's, that's broken. I'll give you all my gifts so that you'll see them. That's broken, man. On, oh, this is on core territory? That's ridiculous. Oh, you're so strong. You're so strong. Yeah, so strong with that one militia division right there, huh? I don't like that. It says, it says it's militia, but it's actually not militia. That's stupid. I think that's incredibly stupid. But now we gotta gotta hang out. We got a few guns. We need more artillery. We need more of everything, pretty much. Hmm. Push them up, up and out this way. Being Banner River is always easier. Ah, oh, that's men. The native delegation approached Maya one day, bringing the case with him without any delay. He sat down with them, discussing what they had for him. They told him that they wanted better rights for themselves, they desired to be treated as Germans treated their own countrymen, and that they deserved to be recognized as equals. We promise to do more for you to see this war come to an end as quickly as possible, but won't you grant us these rights we ask from your people? Our people. Was what one native man said, earning nods from his companions. Meyer listened to all that they had to say, and he agreed with them. He knew they were just as human as he was, and that would have to be addressed as soon as possible. He told them, You're all free to ask these things. It's important for everyone to have rights. I can't possibly deny them to your people. We know, said another man, and that's why we believe in you. You are not like the rest of your people, and we hope you would listen, so what is your decision? Maya thought carefully about it. He realized if he agreed to everything they asked of him, the coalition would come under some strain. There were other Germans who were not so e eager to welcome the natives as if they were like Germans, but now he had to decide. The rights after the war must be broken again. I guarantee you all the rights for everybody. They have support. Our native comrades have chosen to give all they can to our cause, and by what Maya has done for them, he has said to them, and they have gone out of the way to fully embrace what we all want for awesome. Our homes, for our homes and for our own, together we are going to stand and fight among, against people who are ruining this land. Together, we'll devote our lives to what we believe. For everything that is good, we will sacrifice in a new awesome. Uh, we will have done it, we will prevail. The horrible war which has to fight was finally come to an end. And now we stand victorious over our enemies with Maya as our leader. Despite everything that has come against us, we have done more than anyone could have done. Now it's up to us to follow his lead in the reconstruction of Austin, and together with him, we must do our part to keep our dream alive against outside forces seeking to extinguish our hopes for a future. For all of humanity. Kovner's escape. It wasn't supposed to end this way. Kovner had always assumed that he would either fulfill his dream or die trying. Not this time, though. 
The van idled in the driveway, the noise of a distant artillery shot or gunfire exchange occasionally raising over the sound of the engine. He took one last look at the land he had spent the better portion of his life fighting for before he got in. The van sped down the road, and Covenant's mind raced with it. He thought back to all the sacrifices he had made, all the friends he had lost, all of it was for nothing. Also would be crushed under some German or worse, some German bootlicker, and the people there would still not be free if only for a moment. The UPO had had their best shot at freedom. Without them to fight the Germans by, who would stand up for the natives trapped in Austin? Not the Americans, Russians, and certainly not the Germans. The thoughts continued to plague Kovar's mind, as the van slipped over the Austin Muscovine border and into the pages of history. Another refugee of war, but Vitushka Zen, the gunfire cracked over Han's head and embedded itself into the wall. He ducked back around the corner, cursing his luck. These darn Belarusians didn't know when to quit, did they? As the squad made motion and back around the corners, he went to work, firing a few shot, short bursts at the target. When two heard a scream, they pushed up further. The gunfire echoed off the buildings as they marched through, looking for the target. He couldn't be too far away now. Guns at the ready, eyes open for snipers. They slowly made their way down the street, looking for one man and one man only. A door opened on the right. A man in a suit stumbled out. He took one look at the soldiers and began rushing down the street. Hans raised his rifle and cut him down. Was that him? When the two men reached the body, they turned it over to check the face. Hans held a picture up to the dead man's face. It looked identical to Vitushka, certainly, but was it really him? Hans shrugged and put an extra bull in the man's head. Vitushka or not, someone was going to pay for dragging him into the sack. and certainly wasn't going to be him. He's out of the way in any case, but right now, where are we at? Oh, we're not the Shavir Republic. We're right here. And right now, we have 17 divisions. We have no manpower. And we have to fight uh, the General Berserk Letlin. Led by the Rushler, which is, well, it's alright. Not going great. But they have up to 18 divisions and 34,000 manpower, which sucks because we're out of manpower. Uh, but we'll do the best we can. I'm trying to consolidate a few divisions here right now just so that we can actually... Um, you know, do okay. Also, if I see militia divisions, and if they're actually militia divisions, I will, like, pinpoint on those guys and try to just drag them down into the gutter with us. And by that, I mean just, like, drain them of their manpower, so. Also, we're out of manpower, but like I said, we're trying to consolidate divisions and whatnot, so. Oh, look at those Shabazz jump mini. If anything, if we could, like, slice up this way, that'd be great. Just, like, cut them off through here. If possible. God, I would love that so much. We have 16 divisions now. Not great, not bad, just, it is what it is. We're so close. So close. Let's bring it in a little bit. Bring it in. Just a smidgen. Can you do that, maybe, perhaps? Pop them out a little bit. As long as we don't get in circle, that's all I really care about. Ah, and of course we get in circle. Of course. Uh, we do have a good amount of command power right now. Anything? Try to go in. Why not? Try it. See what we can do. As uh, we're still lagging, but whatever. It is what it is. We're going to lag a lot. Take whatever they have and take it from them. We're actually doing okay against the tanks. We can kind of pierce them already. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, wait. Why did the what game? Why did you do that? Why did you do that game? I only wanted... Like you three to do this. What are you doing in there? Oh, we got screwed over by the game here, man. We really did. Yeah, let's get rid of another division. That's always good. Uh, the bow is very good. Very good. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing great. You didn't have to use consequence this time either, which is great too. Yeah, this group is not difficult to play as Ostland... Ostlandlingen? What do we pronounce it as? If you go right there, cut him off. These guys will be stuck in a pocket. But... Not for now. Come on, break him, break him, break him. Ah, dockyards! Ah, beautiful. Ah, Riga itself is cut off from everyone else. Nice. Here, take him out. Take out the division. It'd be great. Riga is ours, my friends. Ooh. Oh, he's still on offensive. Okay, well, that would help out a little more. Beautiful. Losses 14,000 versus 56,000. Not bad. About to capitulate. Good. Very, very good. Even with no manpower. Oh, we lost the division, though. Well, it's all for the good in the end. And what's this? Pockets. Oh, my goodness. Almost 100,000 men lost because of that. You all hold. We'll have one giant push at the end here.
we can concentrate the forces a little bit better. Arthur Chestnut. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Promotion of the British Ideals and Culture Act. We are not to be. How do you get this guy? Whoa! All the countries are staged. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that guy before. So corporatism, National Front, fascists. Okay. Well, now we're down to eight divisions, but they should actually be pretty darn well stocked with with equipment and whatnot. These guys are 21 combat with. We can probably throw another thing of artillery on here. Still be okay. Well, they're fully weak, and we're fairly strong. Let's have fun. Or so, shall we? Ah, uh, melt them if you possibly can. Nice. We've won, my friends. We have won. Maya Landrut wins in Austin. News from Austin today as Andreas Maya Landrut has declared victory of as many enemies in the Austin Civil War. Maya Landrut has declared that a new dawn has begun across the nation. He says that the people shall be free. Slavery shall end and we shall begin in autonomous zones for various minority groups that he hopes to shall one day be turned into free republics. His rhetoric sounds similar to that of Speer, but may have many pointed out that Speer had never been so extreme in his rhetoric. Many Speerites have even decried this, claiming that a lack of moderate reform will allow subversive elements to destroy Europe. Despite this, Maya Lanro seems to care little, has already begun multiple liberalization programs in conjunction with his work towards post work recovery. A shocking change in policy, but if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great, good, great rest of your day.